students we have started the first chapter of your book and we have covered till the units isn't it so now in today's class i will discuss about the dimension of physical quantities okay let me write down today's topic dimensions okay let us look now let us see that what is a dimension dimension is basically the power or the index of the symbol of each of the fundamental physical quantities that are present in a derived physical quantities okay this is the de definition we will learn about it uh, i hope you all know that how to write the power or the index okay suppose like m square what is this m square means it is meter square isn't it suppose m cube this is this is all your power or the index of the symbol m that means symbol is your meter and 2 3 are your powers or the index of the symbol m so dimension is the power or the index of the symbol of each of the fundamental physical quantities present in a derived physical quantity what are the derived physical quantities students i hope you have uh, come across this term in this chapter derived means suppose uh, let's take the example of this one the velocity that is velocity i'm writing as a oh, velocity what is the formula velocity distance by time so students what are the fundamental units that we have studied that is distance time and the mass are your fundamental units so your velocity is a derived unit derived physical quantity why because it is using up the fundamental units isn't it i hope this concept we have cleared in your classes so these are your fundamental units i'm writing as fundamental units this two so since velocity is using this two fundamental quant units like distance and time this velocity is your derived physical quantity so what is your dimension so if you just write for distance what we will write l and for time what we will write t so l by t equals to l t to the power minus 1 why because t was in your denominator so when you you will put this t in the numerator how will you write l t to the power minus 1 okay what was the power of l here 1 so here also the power of l is 1 so these are all your index or the power isn't it so repeating once again what is the dimensions dimensions is just the power or the index of the symbol that means the symbol m of the fundamental physical quantities which are present in the derived physical quantities okay so i hope this basic definition part of the dimensions is clear to all okay okay now let's move ahead dimensional expression is a product or quotient of the symbols of the fundamental physical quantities which are involved in a derived physical quantities raised to appropriate powers that means for this part you have to take the example just take an example of this velocity just to make you understand this part. okay so uh basically from this part you can see that uh, this velocity is a product of length and t isn't it but it is being expressed like in the powers of l and t that means l to the power 1 and t to the power minus 
ओके ऑल राइट सो इन अ डिमेंशनल एक्सप्रेशन लाइक लेंथ मास एंड टाइम आर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड विद द सिम्बॉल्स एल एम एंड टी आई एम राइटिंग आई हैव टोल्ड यू बिफोर ऑल्सो जस्ट आई एम राइटिंग इट वन सेगेन फॉर लेंथ वट विल यू राइट एज एल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग स्टूडेंट्स राइट कैपिटल एल फॉर दिस लेंथ ओके डोंट एवर पुट स्मॉल एल फॉर दिस यूनिट्स पार्ट फॉर मास वट विल यू राइट विद इन ब्रैकेट एन बिग एन ऑलवेज फॉर लेट फॉर टाइम वट विल यू राइट टाइम सिंपली एज टी विद इन ब्रैकेट ओके I told you before also while discussing this velocity. So, generally these are written within a square bracket to indicate, or box bracket, whichever term you will you will use, that these are represented within this square bracket to indicate that they are statements of dimensions only. All right. So now, if you just look at the dimensions of a quantity, you will know. that which of the fundamental quantities they are related with and how they are related that means talking about right now this velocity part we are using this fundamental quantity what are the fundamental quantity used in this case of this velocity the two fundamental quantities the distance one and the second one is the time okay so we know that two fundamental quantities are used in this derived uh, quantity velocity but how they are related in this derived quantity in this derived quantity how they are related okay so see they are related like this that means l to the power 1 and t to the power minus 1 okay talking about this all right so uh, if you just take another example suppose volume i hope this example also the volume also you have know also you know that its dimension is l cube okay that means length cube is your volume okay so uh, how will you express it l cube or in another way also you can write as m to the power 0 l to the power 3 and t to the power 0 okay why we are writing it as like this because since we know that volume means l cube 